Hey guys, Chef here and welcome back to another video. So today we will be doing a how to get an A star in your art GCSE course. So I will be doing another video on how to choose your GCSEs and like what, what courses will fit you best and what are good for the future in future colleges and universities. They'll like really help you. So in this video I'll be showing you all my coursework and what I did basically to get the grade eight that I got. I didn't get an I didn't get an A star but I want to put an A star in the title because it sounds better. And then like I could also tell you how to get that so like give you tips on how to then aim for that A star. Okay, so first off my course so like my year we get like assigned like a topic on each year. So the topic for my year was landscapes. So I got really lucky in this because to get like the good grades you need to establish what parts of the subject you are good at and then what parts you're not so good at because it's obvious you're not going to be good at everything so um for me i had to find out what i was good at and to art i just kind of took it just to have a laugh and everything but this was when like i started to realize oh actually i'm actually quite all right at art so um i started to actually focus on it a lot more so to begin with what we started with because I started like six weeks late something like that so they were already starting on their sketchbooks now on these sketchbooks you basically do a load of things and it's like establishing what you're good at and what you're not good at so for me because we did landscapes I'm good at landscapes I'm good at painting like trees you know just natural stuff I can't draw portraits so faces bodies can't do any of that so I was so happy that we weren't doing that but I didn't know at the time so um, we started doing it and you basically had to just make a front cover then words that would like I don't know that sprung out to you when you did when you spoke about like art and nature so these are them and then you just had to do your research basically on nature and just look at it and then so like when you like then when you've looked at it you can then see like point things out so then when you're drawing it you can then draw it and you're like that looks natural because that is there so yep yeah, we've just got loads of different things in here so this this obviously isn't my best but this is what i did in year nine so and then it just moved on and then we just kind of stopped with these and then took it home and did this because i was bored i thought we were never going to use these again but it turns out we did so that was all right and then that's when i got on um, moving to doing acrylics and everything and i was like damn okay i'm I can work with acrylics. I'm quite good at acrylics. So this is, I think you can see that, that is my waterfall painting. This is the first thing I did that got me to like where I was basically and I was like damn okay like that's quite good like for me like that's quite good so I did that and then I started painting trees so I did a lot of like um like canvases and I drew trees all over canvases and I did like um, blossom trees just normal oak trees did them all like all oh, the trees so this is them that's the tree i was so happy with this i was like inspired by bob ross because so well this isn't like a painting by bob ross i just drew this um for like from that and um you had to say like who you're influenced by so i picked bob ross so he's kind of then who i chose to like aim all my art stuff on so this is that another tree this one wasn't so good it kind of like came out on the side so i don't know why it did that but yeah that was that and then you still had to like just decorate inside with loads of natural store things that you were interested in so for a, like a slight face i thought i was going to be interested in photography so i did my page about photography and i was like okay i really like photography it's it's really nice so I thought that's what I was going to do when I go to college, but it turns out different. And then you just want to decorate each page. I did all these at home. I just spent hours on these, like, just, like, doing that. And they, because they fit each page, so it was, like, kind of cool. So I spent ages on these. That says on a wild goose chase. I hope you can see. So, yeah, and then this is that. I forgot I did this. 
think that's really pretty. I think I, I did this at home as well. Um, I did most of these on home at home, like when we had like a week off. And this, I hated doing this. It was like so we had to do it. It was like we had to layer up on your sketchbook, and th it's just basically another way of trying to figure out what you're good at and what you're not good at. So I don't think I was really good at this. I still did it, and it it turned out all right, but. It's not my strong point. You might find that it is, so still try it just in case. And then more photography. So here. These are just my photography pages now. So this is basically what I did throughout my entire three years. So 9, 10, oh, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, so three years. And that's what I did. And then by the end, I just had to write a load of stuff on, like... So I went on the a trip. We went somewhere into like Conway, Conway Castle and we did like an art bit. I'll show you what I did on them on that trip because that really helped me a lot to get my grade as well. So you want to just do a lot of artwork. So that was that, all of that. Okay, so now after we did our scrapbook, we then moved on to trying to find out because a lot of us still hadn't found out what we were good at. So we moved on to <laughs> slight error, my light one. Um, so anyway, after we did the scrapbook and we then moved on to finding other arti artists, so we went on to doing someone called Tisha Moore. Now, I hated this work. It was basically where she did loads of different fonts. She put, like, crowns on people's heads and did circles and then changed people's heads into, like, giraffe heads. And I just, honestly, I was not interested in that artwork. But we still did it. And so these were my boards, so we had to do one with family. So I got my pictures of my family, I put like a few crowns on it. I did a turkey in the corner because honestly I was not cutting out someone's head and putting a turkey head on that. I thought it was stupid to do that. But like that's just because I'm not interested in that type of art. And then so on other boards, like so here are some, like there's this one. And my friend actually started doing this and then she didn't like it. And I was like, bitch, give it me, I'll do it. So I took over her artwork. So she did this bit and then I added um, this bit here. So I gave the baby a glass of wine because, well, champagne. Because I was like, you know, funny. And then I put like people's heads in the corner, which honestly, I just wanted to laugh at this work. So I put like people's heads in the corner of the pages because, of, of, you know, I'm funny. <laughs> And then, so my other board was this one. I think this one got a lot of marks. Um, this is, no, this isn't the one. One of our boards got marked. I think it was this one. Yeah, this one I got a 5C in it. Just for this board, so I'm mad. But yeah, here's this one. This is the one with all my family in it. And I did loads of artwork around it. This on, I thought this work was really messy. I wasn't really interested in it. But it's art, so they said... It was good. This one I didn't even finish because I just hated it. I gave cat hair. I edited that on like a Photoshop thing. Excuse my nails as well because I haven't took off my acrylics. So yeah, that was my Tisha Moore work. Okay, and then once all my Tisha Moore work was done, we then went on to doing Baroque work. So this is really fine art and that. So when we did ours, we did ha like, like these head pieces. So it was like mixed with Tisha Moore and Baroque. So these are my styles. I don't know if you can see this, but it's like I, I you had to like pose on yourself and everything. You made it with yourself, and yeah, this was that's how my crown thing turned out. So that was that, and you still have to you do have to do a lot of writing and art. So well, not a lot, but like you should focus on the writing as well. I think that got me like some good marks as well. Just writing. Okay, now the last of the Baroque work was this board. Hate it. Hate it. I really do not like this. Like, even though it is like quite natural, I do not like it. But do try it because some people like, like I'm not gonna lie. Like this, like the pieces on the bottom and like the fine artwork, it's quite fun. Like you will like to do that. So you might find that it is part of your like what you're good at. And this board was like the last of the Baroque work. It's a bit squashed because I did make it a few years ago. So this is what this turned out like. It is nice. It took forever to do all the origami. Like there was a few people in my course who really did like to do origami. So this bit, the, this bit was all good for them. I should have added writing on it. I didn't want to because I didn't want to ruin it. But if I added writing all there, 
probably would have got more marks so that probably would have got me to the A star so I don't even know how I got an 8 honestly I do not have any idea but like that somehow all that so far got me that now it was by the time we were trying to find out what we wanted to do for our exam the 10 hour exam I knew now I was doing nature I wanted to base it all on like the nature spectrum of it of course because honestly I could not do anything else so that is what I did. So my first board was this, and you had to choose a topic, and so the topic I chose was the wonders of nature. So I just did my starting board off, I did the four seasons, so you've got like the blossom trees and that. I originally did three, because I only thought there was three seasons. I forgot about August. So that was like quite bad, so I had to start over and do the tree again. But it was alright, so... This is how it turned out. I absolutely love this board, like with the rose and then the tree and the butterfly. I think it all just fits in really nice. So yeah, that was my first board. Now this is like my second board. This one turned out quite pretty as well. By this time I was in year 11. Year 11, yeah I think. This is by the time I was in year 11 and it's just this board is so pretty as well. I've got like drawings on the back of this because me and my friends just messed around in lessons. So there's like cat drawings on the back. But yeah, this is this one. And honestly, just doing the gradient behind it just turned out so well. And like with all the pictures on and just the black, it looks really pretty. So that was that. And obviously I did more writing. So please do write in if you do want to get the top grades. You do have to do a lot of courses. If it's not your best work, hand it in anyway that's like my number one tip hand it in write loads and then hand them all in so now on one of my boards you have to do photography so this was my photography page so as you can see i just like lined up all these pictures and tied them all up loads of writing added some more pictures and then here i just added some quotes there and then on the back with some more pictures. I thought this bit was really creative. Um, so with the quotes and then the pictures on the back, I honestly, I thought that was so pretty. And then with this just hanging down the side, it was like filled up with space. So yeah, that was that. I still really like that board. I think it didn't take me long at all to do, but it's still really effective. So you don't have to spend loads of time on one project. It's best to do loads, because if you just hand in loads, They'll be like, okay, she spent, like, literally, he or she spent ages on this, so we'll give them loads of marks. I mean, don't get me wrong, babe, it's probably not how they do it, but that is how it seems like they do it. Now, this is my other board. It's like, this is my last board that I did, and it was my Beatrix Potter board, because I went to Beatrix Potter Land a few years back, and I got some really nice photos, so I added them on there. I drew an owl in the back because... It was like nature so I thought it was really good and she bases all her work on nature and her like natural things that she's seen in life so I would recommend doing Beatrix Potter if you do something like this in your final piece because honestly it was so nice. I added ribbons with the Peter Rabbit on and then some decoupage of like the I think what it's called Miss Miss Tiddles or something I don't know but yeah and then the owls just stood on a little book I think that that one turned out really pretty so that one did get me some good marks as well and then by this time of oh, this oh, this one was awful I hate this one I did this so many times I did this twice I did this board twice <laughs> it's just about the writing to be honest I should have wrote more on it but I do not like it with the goldfish <sighs> Awful. You will regret a few things that you do. Like this one as well. I just stuck my... I did this artwork at home. I ripped it on my sketchbook and then I just stuck it on this board and said it was a development board. I pretended like I knew what I was talking about, but I didn't. So I just wrote some random ideas on the side. Did a part in there. Stuck these on. This is like a big waterfall of the little waterfall I did, but it turned out awful. So now that was all of my coursework. I know it doesn't even seem like a lot, but like that was what I did over the three years. And then it comes to the 10 hour exam and I did the most beautiful piece of artwork I've ever done in my entire life. And it was like a Bob Ross inspired piece of work. 
and I did it on a canvas and it was beautiful. I got a picture, I can put it, I'll put it in the corner, whichever corner I'm not sat at. So I think this one. So I can put it in the corner now, the picture doesn't look good, you can't see any of the detail on it. And I don't know where the canvas went. I went back to my old high school to go retrieve it and it wasn't there. And the only one that was there was the other one I did because I did two in the space of ten hours, so five hours on each. And this is, oh, this is that one and it's... I need to, I, I'm going to go over, I am actually, I'm going to start fixing all the grass. The background, I would, I'll zoom you in on the background because the background is beautiful. I love the background, like here with the trees and the fence, but then you zoom out and then you have all the grass and it's like, doesn't even look like grass, it just looks awful. So this one was a massive fail, all the colour, the colour, I didn't think about it like good enough the colors just didn't like fit in with each other they were too dark i needed some brighter colors so this is the, this is like my 10 hour exam and uh i really want the pink board that i did in the corner i'll, I'll keep it there because it's so it was so pretty and it was absolutely beautiful and everyone saw it and they were like did you do that and i was like i, I was like so proud i was like yeah i did that <sighs> That just, it's just, I've lost it, I don't know where it is. I'll probably, I'll message one of my friends and they'll see, like, if it's still in the school, but, I don't know. So, yeah, this, that was my entire coursework. I do have some stuff from my product design class. I don't know if any of you have taught product design, but, honestly, I think my product design work, I, I got a six in that. So I just didn't do much for it. I've only got like three boards. One there. One here. I was so happy with this. I don't know why it's got a hole in it. I found it like that. Um, I was so happy with that. I thought it was so cool. I was like, oh my gosh, look at, look at the trees. I did trees. So I don't know why my teacher, he was really impressed with me as well. And it, it just wasn't very good. <laughs> so I don't know why he was happy with it. But that was them. And so basically I just based my whole coursework on that with some I don't know how to open this box with um what's it called a badger so I made a badger this was part of my coursework this 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 was my coursework I I made a badger <laughs> it's not very good <laughs> I mean it's cool since when would you see someone with like an ornament of a badger like it was made out of clay and I painted it all so it is still pretty cool I can add some photos of that onto the side, but I probably won't because you can see it now. So yeah, forget that. <laughs> and yeah, so this was my entire course. So there are my tips on how to do it. So write a lot, make sure you just do loads of work. Just literally, even if it's awful, still hand it in because they'll they'll give you marks for it, even if it's awful. Okay, so this, this was my entire GCSE course summed up in this video. I hope you enjoyed and if you want more videos like this then please do subscribe down below and like the video and there will be more videos coming your way. So yeah everyone have a nice day and goodbye.